Disclaimer. Being happy can result in other life forms despising you for your happiness, as well as being perceived as mentally ill. Well, this is how to be happy. Step 1. Fake it till you make it. Portraying yourself as a happy person will actually unload endorphins, oxytocin, serotonin and dopamine, which are the four chemicals contributing to happiness. It sounds an awful lot like drugs. Don't be happy and drive, kids. Step 2. The happy kick will make you want to do things. Obviously do things that you like. No mom, that does not include doing the laundry with you or the dishes, ever. Doing things you like will have a positive effect on your brain, and in turn will lead you to meeting new people. Step 3. Socialize. Now I know that people are horrible, despicable even. But choosing the right kind of people is key here. Namely people with either an IQ level of over 125, or people with an IQ level of under 99, will make it seem more fun. Gather them in a room together, and make up something for them to argue about. Socializing will also result in you meeting her. Step 4. You have a wonderful start. You look into those blue eyes, and she smiles back at you, which will make you borderline overdose on endorphin. You have a great relationship. Traveling, cuddling, going to the movies, cooking dinner, even doing the laundry, and it will seem alright, maybe even fun. I'm sorry mom. You see, this is all a circle I call the circle of happiness. Endorphins will make you want to do things, which will make you meet new people, which will make you even happier, which will give you more endorphins and round it goes. There you go, it's the circle of happiness and nothing could ever break this cycle. Until one day, she leaves you for some jackass named Bob. Because Bob has a better job, more money, is a higher combat level than you on RuneScape and just overall a better fucking human being than you are, you know that feeling when you have everything you want and you're like a little hamster in his hamster wheel, just smiling and running in his cute little wheel, being happy. Yeah, happy, well, that will change. Because when love dies, the hamster will die. And the reason for that is Barbara's stupid fucking decisions. See what I did there? Stupid fucking decisions? So she made the decision to fuck Bob? Let's move on. And that's how you will feel inside. A hamster that is dead. But the wheel just keeps spinning. And spinning. And spinning. Step 6. Eat chocolate once a week. It gives you endorphin kicks.